in this video i explain method of drive so there are two method for drive any machine first method is the individual drive and second is the group drives so now we understand both the method in a detail so first we understand the individual drive so from the word individuals we already know individual means separate and here we are discussing the drive so drive means the prime mover or a electric motor required to run the machines means for run the every machines we use the separate electric motor or a prime mover it is called as a individual drive so in this drive each machine has its own electric motor and starter as shown in a figures so here you see this is the machine and for run this machine the separate electric motor and the starter is used to run the other machines they also use the other separate motor means by using one motor we run only one machine it is called as the individual drives so here you see this is the electric motor this bell drive and on this shaft of this bell drive some other machine are attached means pump is attached compressor or lathe machine means any machine is attached with this shaft so it is called as the individual drive the motor is directly coupled with machine shaft by help of belt chain gear or variable speed transmission systems so here you see the motor and machines are connected by using this bell drive in this diagram you also see this is a bell drive so in a some machine instance of bell drive we use the chain drive means this chain drive bell drive is replaced by chain in a some machine it is replaced by gears and in a some machines the variable speed transmission system are used variable speed transmission means by using the variable speed transmission we are able to use the variable speed of the machines means we are able to change the speed of the machine it is called as the variable speed individual drive is used in area where machine are likely to be moved frequently means when we need to move the machine from one place to another place frequently so it is beneficial to use the individual drive machine it is also used with machine that operate at full constant load means machine is run on a full load continuously at that time we need to use the individual drive instead of a group drive this drive is more suitable where few machines scatter over a larger area so this individual drive matter is also suitable there where the larger area are there and in this in this larger area only few machines are there so at that time instead of the group drive we need to use the individual drive now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or elements of mechanical engineering subject or other video of mechanical engineering for bme or eme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card for the subject i request to visit the playlist now second matter is a group drive so from the word we can understand by using the one motor we can run the number of machine it is called as the group drives so in this drive the main shaft run from one end to the another end of the shop and it drive by very powerful motor as shown in a figure so here you see this is the very powerful motor and this powerful motor is run this main shaft so this is the main shaft so this main shaft is runs by using the powerful motors and what is the length of this shaft the shaft is cover the full length of the workshop suppose the workshop length is the 25 meters so shaft length is 25 meters so what amount of the machines are installed they are covered this main shaft drive another shaft called as the counter shaft so this main shaft is drive the counter shaft so this is the counter shaft you see and this counter shaft is runs by using the main shaft so here you see main shaft and the counter shaft is connected by using the bell drive this counter shaft drive the machine shaft so after the counter shaft various machines are there here you see machine a machine b and machine c so these all the three machines are runs by using the one motor it is called as the group drives how the power is transmit from the electric motor to the machines so this is the electric motor so from the electric motor by using the bell drive power is transfer 
to the main shaft from the main shaft by using the bell drive power is transferred to the counter shaft and from the counter shaft the power is transferred to the various machines fast and loose pulley are provided on the counter shaft for starting and stopping machine shaft here you see the fast and loose pulley are there so when these machines are connected with this fast pulley the machines are rotated when we move this belt to the loose pulley at that time what happens this belt is not rotated okay means the only counter shaft is rotated machine shaft is not rotated so loose pulley is used when we need to stop the machine so for starting and stopping of the machine we need to use the fast and loose pulley counter shaft also contain a set of con pulley to give a wide range of spindle speeds so here you see this is the con pulley here the con pulley is there okay so by using this con pulley we are able to achieve the various speeds of the machine so here you see the diameter of the pulley is smaller here the larger so less speed is achieved and when we need to run the machine a with the higher speed then what we need to do we need to attach this belt on this pulley so here the larger diameter pulley is there here the smaller diameter so here we achieve the higher speeds normally the motor is placed either on the floor or mounted overhead means this electric motor is either seated on the ground floor or either seated overhead the motor drive main shaft by belt the transmission of motion and power takes place from main shaft to the counter shaft and then after the machine pulley through belt and chain drive so that we already discussed the power is transferred from the main motor to the main shaft from the main shaft to counter shaft and from the counter shaft to the various machines so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends